So I have been waiting to do today's video for a while because having two RF mount cameras, I've needed two variable ND mount filters to be able to use both cameras at once in a lot of outdoor run and gun situations. But I've been waiting because although Canon's VND adapter, as far as the physical adapter, works really great with Canon cameras, the autofocus is absolutely spectacular when using EF glass that's supported. The variable ND filter that Canon gives you with their adapter has some flaws to it, especially if you shoot on the last third of it. It has an extreme magenta color cast that just gets worse and worse the more you stop down. I know a lot of viewers on this channel, including me myself, have been waiting for the breakthrough filter and they are slowly shipping them. However, they only work on Canon's adapter and they work on their own adapter, which still hasn't come out yet. Another thing is a lot of companies that make these physical adapters that convert Canon RF to EF lenses, in addition to giving you the VND, a lot of the electronics don't really work that well. So when testing them out on the Komodo, well, the Komodo's autofocus is rudimentary. So you can't really put it to the test other than make sure you can open and close your aperture or make sure that image stabilization, if the lens has it, is working. The reason I've been really excited to test out this Kolari RF to EF VND adapter is when you put it on EOS R cameras like the R5, R6, hopefully the R7, the autofocus works absolutely spectacular, just as if you were using one of Canon's own adapters. Adapters. So that being said, I had to give this a try, see how the VND glass works, and for the price, it does not disappoint. This is pretty much the only other adapter I could recommend buying right now in 2022 besides Canon's adapter. So I did some tests using the adapter. First, I did autofocus tests using the EOS R6. And as you can see here, the autofocus works just as well using Sigma's 24 to 70 as it does using a Canon made adapter. I tested it on the R6, shooting wide open at the least amount of strength on the VND, but I also ramped up my ISO and tested it on its heaviest strength. And yes, you can see a little bit of a green color cast, but at least it actually is usable at its heaviest strength ND. The next test I did was put it on the red Komodo. I didn't need to test the autofocus, that was what the R6 was for. But on the Komodo, I could just test raw image quality because we have the R3D raw codec on the Komodo. So first I put on Canon's VND just so we can get a baseline and you can see wide open there's really not much of a color shift. You could probably see a slight amount of magenta but it's really nothing I'd complain about. But then when you close down towards the end right here it's not quite the end but it's pretty much the end of being usable as there's a heavy magenta color cast and then I actually just go to the end to show you and the image becomes completely unusable at the end of Canon's VND. Then I slap on the Kolari VND and you see, again, wide open, really not much of a color cast. If you want to call it anything, you can call it a slightly green color cast, but nothing really that I could see. And then when you stop down all the way to the end, just like on the Canon camera, yes, I think there's a slight green color cast at the end of the VND. However, it is completely usable. And on a camera like the Red Komodo, you could absolutely color grade and work with that image. So I've been really happy with this VND adapter from Kolari. And what's interesting is they make more than just the variable ND filter. They make a clear filter, obviously, if you wanna keep this thing on your camera all the time. They also make IR filters, they make swirly bokeh filters. They make a lot more than just ND. So I'm interested to see what Kolari does with the filters for this VND adapter. If I had to mention one negative about this adapter, it's really with the filters, and it's the fact that you cannot use the filters made by Canon or Breakthrough or any company that makes filters specifically for Canon's variable ND adapter with Kolari's. You have to use the Kolari made filters. They're a little bit thinner than the Canon ones, so they don't stick in. I tried putting my clear filter in just because Kolari does not give you a clear filter uh, when you purchase this. That's not the end of the world for me though because I have other ways to get around that. Now let's compare this to the other adapters on the market. So there's a bunch of random Chinese third party companies that are making RF to EF adapters we're only gonna cover one, which is the biggest of all of them, and it is the Mikey adapter. I would say if you're a Red Komodo user, when it comes to these third-party adapter VND combos, you could go for the Kolari or the Mikey and get very similar results on both the VND and the electronics. 
Now, when it comes to using Canon RF bodies, that's where the only other VND adapter I could recommend would be the Kolari if you're not gonna get the Canon because the electronics work so well from the Kolari adapter using EF lenses. Whereas I've actually tried the Mikey adapter and I decided not to do a review on it just because the autofocus is wonky when using Canon RF cameras. Now the Mikey adapter is much cheaper than both the Canon adapter and Kolari's adapter also, it comes with a clear filter. The electronics is a huge deal breaker for me, not being able to use the autofocus properly on my Canon RF bodies, especially with my R7 coming in. That is absolutely a deal breaker. So as cheap as the Mikey is, it just doesn't put anything on the electronics that Kolari did. They did a really amazing job getting this to communicate well with both the EF lenses and the RF cameras. So I couldn't recommend it enough. I think if you're in the market for a VND, unless you have a specific reason to get the Canon one, or you want to get the breakthrough filter that obviously will really only work with Canon since they still haven't come out with their branded adapter. They did a fantastic job at putting this together. And I think you could see, I plan on using this a lot with the Komodo as I already put my EF cap on here. Overall, absolutely love this adapter. Could not recommend it more. And if you have any questions about the Kolari adapter, the variable ND filter, please make sure to ask in the comments below. If you got knowledge and value out of today's video, please make sure to hit that like, subscribe, and notification bell to keep up to date with the latest videos on the channel. Thank you for watching, everybody. And as always, my name is Jeff Fagan, and I will see you in the next video.